hey, how about when you have a manual, three manuals in one question and you need to take off the quantities of those manuals? Can you imagine that? Welcome back to my channel again. Today, we are going to look at taking off quantities of substructure works, the manuals. So this is the drainage works. And in this question, we have been given three manuals. So we need to take off the quantities of the three manuals. So the information that we have here, the internal sizes of the manuals, as you can see, the first one is 1,000 by 850, the second one is 1,150 by 850, and then the third one is 1,200 millimeters diameter. And again, it's not just one manual. Here we have three manuals on the first one, the second one we have two manuals, and then the third one we have three manuals. We have the invert level. This is what will help us get the depth of those manuals. The first one, it's 1100. The second one is 1650. The third one is 2000. And then the thickness walls, the specifications are different. As you can see, the first one is 15, uh, 150 millimeters. The second one is still the same. That is why we have Dito. And then the third one is 200 millimeters. Also, the foundation bed is 150 millimeters thick. A class of one is to three is to six. The second one is the same. And then the third one is 200 millimeters thick. We have foundation projection, 125 millimeters. The second one is the same. And then the third one is 150 millimeters. So this is how our manual looks like. We have a foundation bed. It is plain concrete. And then we have the projection that we allow for us to be able to do the excavation. And then we have the wall. We have this it's solid concrete wall. And then on the top, we have a suspended slab. And then we have the cover and the, and the frame. And you can see the manual is forming a, a benching. And then we have also a channel. We have also been told to note that there's a rock which commences a thousand millimeters below the ground level. Now, let's kick off and see how we are going to take off these manuals. So kindly stay tuned, stay here until the end. So we are going to start by listing the items that we are going to measure. So we have excavation for rocks, soil excavation, that is the vegetable soil. And then we do pits for the manuals, extra over for rocks. Then we have items, concrete bed, walling, benching, channel, cover slab. And then we have the cover and frame, formwork to the slab, finishes and soil adjustments. So we are going to start with the first one, excavation for the vegetable soil. So we go back to our table. So we have the internal size, including plaster. So when we are doing the excavation, of course, we need to know the, the size. So like the first one, we have uh, the internal size is 1,000 by 850. Meaning for us to get the length and the width for excavation, internal one is from here, including plaster, up to here. So we need to add the, the walls, and then we need to add the projection for us to find the total volume of the the total lengths and the width of the excavation so for the first one the wall is 150 and then the projection is 125 you'll take note of the second one is the same the only that is the only one that is different is the third one so for the first one it's a thousand length and the width is 850 and then we add two 150 that is the walls and then we add to 125 so that gives us 1550 and the width of 1400 the second one the only thing that is different is the internal size which is 1150 by 850 but the walls and the projection are the same so we add 300 for the walls and 250 for the projection both on the length and on the width that gives us 1700 and 1400 Manual 3, it has an internal diameter, so meaning this is circular, this, the other two ones are rectangular. It has a diameter of 1,200, and then 
the wall is 200 and the projection is 150 so we add those two that is we add the walls to 200 and then we add the projection which is 150 that is 250 that gives us 1900 so this is what we are going to use for us to find the the circumference and the area that we need to do the the excavation now let's book that one the first one was 1.55 and 1.4 the second one is 1.7 and 1.4 and then the third one we have a diameter of 1900 so it's 1.55 1.44 remember the first ones there are three and then the second one is 1.70 1.40 they are two and then the third one is the diameter is 1.90 by 1.90 and then they are also three so we multiply by pi over four so that we can find the the area and then we say excavate vegetable soil starting from ground level average depth 150 millimeters and you remove from site let's go to pits for manuals so for us to be able to have the manuals then we must do the excavation of the of the pits where we are going to have our our walls and the foundation bed now we have an invert level as you can see here we have an invert level and it is it is varying and then we have 50 before we get to the to the bed now for us to find the depth it will be the invert level plus 50 plus the bed now what it differs is the invert level for each manual for the first manual we have 1100 for the second one we have 1650 and for the third one we have 2 2000 and also the thickness of the bed varies the first and the second one they are the same 150 but the third one is 200 so let's get those depths for manual one it's 1100 that is the invert plus 50 the 50 that we are seeing here and then plus the 150 which is the thickness of the of the bed that gives us 1300 from this 1300 we are done an excavation of the vegetable soil remember in our first item of 150 so we less that 150 for us to get 11 1150 so that is the depth we are going to excavate for that pit for the second manual the the invert is 1650 plus the 50 and then plus the bed that is 1850 also we less the vegetable soil it gives us 1700 for manual 3 we have 2000 that is our invert level plus the 50 and then plus the plain bed that is 200 that gives us 2250 and then we less the vegetable soil that gives us 2100 so those are the depths that we are going to excavate for those pits now we take the lengths and the volumes that we had found for excavation these ones now the only thing that we are going to include is the is the depth because excavation is done in cubic cubic meters so for the first one we'll do it in the first stage for the second and the third one we'll do them in first and second stage because they are exceeding 100 and sorry 1500 millimeters depth so it's 1.5 by 1.4 and by 1.15 that is the first one remember there are three and then the second one is 1.70 1.40 1.50 here we are booking the first 1.5 and then later we'll come on and book the remaining the remaining one and then the second one we had a diameter of 1.9 by 1.9 and then we have the depth of 1.5 we also book the first stage and then we'll come back and book the the remaining so we say excavate vegetable soil for the manual starting from strip level depth not exceeding 1.5 meters so the second 
sorry, the second year and the third manual, here we are left with, we booked for 1500, we are left with 200, and here we have 600 that is remaining. So we go back and book that one, 1.70, 1.40, 0 0.2, and then the second one is 1.90, 1.90, and 0 0.60. Remember, these ones are two, and these ones are three. We say detail depth exceeding 1.5 meters, but not exceeding three meters, and then upper sand removed from site the last two items. Now we go to the next item, extra over for rock. We are told the rock commences a thousand millimeters below ground level. A thousand millimeters below ground level. So from our ground level up to the concrete bed, we have our depths here. This one, that, that the invert plus the 50 plus the bed, which was giving us 1300 for manual one and 1850 for manual two and 2250 for manual three. Because we have not, it's from the ground level up here, not from the stripped level. So we are not going to exclude the, we are not going to less the 150. We just take the entire, entire depth up to the plain con concrete bed. So for the first one, if the, our depth is 1300, then we subtract the 1000 for us to get the level of the, the depth of the rock. The second one is 1850, we subtract 1000, that gives us 850. The third one is 2250, we subtract 1000, that gives us 1250. Now we come and book them. The lengths are still the same, 1.55, 1.40, the depth is 0 0.30. The second one is 1.70, 1.40, The third one is 1.90. That is the diameter, 1.90. And then the depth of the rock is rock ex excavation is 1.25. Remember to indicate the numbers, and then you say extra over excavation in normal soil for for excavation in the rocks. We go to item, item you allow for necessary planking and starting upper sand, ditto for dewatering. Now we proceed to our next item, that is the concrete bed. As you can see here, we have a concrete bed. It's plain concrete bed, foundation bed, which has a which is which is of class one is to three is to six. What varies is the what varies is the depth, sorry, what for varies is the thickness of the foundation. The first manual is 150 millimeters thick. Ditto, the second one, so it's the same. The third one is 200 millimeters thick. So for the foundation bed, we book in square meters and then we state the, we state the depth. So we say the lengths and the widths are the same, 1.55, 1.40, and then the second one is 1.70, 1.40. These two first manual and second manual, because they share the same thickness, we are going to book them together and say plain concrete, one is to three is to six in 150 millimeters thick bed. And then we come and book for the, the circular one, 1.90, 1.90, that is the diameter. And then you say plain concrete in one is to three is to six in 200 millimeters thick bed. So we go to walling. So our walling, for walling, for us to get the, the perimeter, we have to find the mean gut. And we've been given the internal dimensions. So we are going to use the internal dimensions that we've been given, the internal size of the manholes. And then we just add the walls so that we can find the, the mini gut. So we are going to use the 11, 1000 by 850 for manual one, for manual two is 1150 by 850, and then for manual three, we are going to use the 1200 millimeters diameter. So let's find the mini gut. For manual one, it's 1000 and the width is 850, so we add the two, multiply by two, we get that 700, we add 40, that gives us four, four times T, T is 150. That is the thickness of the wall. It gives us 600. So if we add those, we get 4,300. And then the height of that manual one, the height of the wall, let's get the height of the wall for the manual one. So for manual one, the height is going to be the invert 
plus 50 because our wall is starting just after the 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 foundation here up to here Remember, as you can see the wall is not up to the it's not covering up to the slab so we get the invert plus 50 for the first one it will be 1100 that is the invert plus 50 that gives us 1150 and then we less the thickness of the of the slab the thickness of the slab in the first one is 150 so we less the the 150 the second one will be the invert is 1650 plus the 50 that is the height and then we less the thickness of the wall that is 150 same to the third one the invert is 2000 plus the 50 and then we less the thickness of the of the slab which is 200 so by doing so we'll have found the heights of the walls of those manual so for as we said for the first one it's 1100 plus 50 minus the thickness of the slab that gives us <coughs> a thousand manual 2 it has an internal dimension of 1150 by 850 we add them and multiply by 2 that gives us 4000 plus the 40 that gives us 4600 the height as we have said it will be 1650 plus 50 minus the slab that gives us 1550 manual 3 we have the diameter it's 1200 so if we have the diameter we are only going to add half t because if we have our circle our diameter we need to get to the center of that diameter so we are not going to add the the t which is 200 but if we add half t we'll be able to get to that center so we add a half t so our half t will be half t is 100 but remember there there are two this this side of the circle on the other side so that makes them 200 so that gives us 1400 the depth will be 2000 plus 50 minus the slab that gives us 1850 so we book we book for the walls the first and the second manual they said they share the same thickness so we are going to book them together so it's 4.30 by the height 1.0 remember there are three the second one is 4.60 by the height 1.55 remember there are two and then we say 150 millimeter stick stone concrete block wall laid and embedded with one two three cement sand mortar the second the third one is 1.40 the the height is 1.85 now this is area so we just multiply pi times d that gives us area and then times the times the depth so it will be pi d and then we have one 1.85 multiplied by three because there are three then you say detail but 200 millimeters stone concrete block wall we go to benching as you can see here we have benching but what we don't have is the height height of the benching so we form a query sheet and ask ourselves what is the average height of the benching so when we are talking about the average height it's from here up to here the same as from here up to here so we are saying 200 millimeters meaning from here this point up to this point is 200 and then from this point up to this point is 200 for us for us to find the average height we'll take this 200 plus this 200 and then we divide by two that gives us 200 so the average height of that manual will be 200 so we just book the manual for the first manual it's one but there are three and then we say plain concrete in one is to three benching average height 200 millimeters to manual manual internal size we quote the internal size of that of that manual a thousand by 50 millimeters so we book the second one it's also one but there are two we say detail to internal size 1150 by 850 millimeters and then we go to the third one it's one but there are three we say detail to internal diameter 1200 millimeters let's go to the channel down here we can see we have 100 millimeters half round salt glazed 
channel average 900 millimeters long so our channel is 900 millimeters long that applies to all the three manholes irrespective of the internal in that internal size so our manual will cut across the our channel will cut across if this is our manual which has an internal diameter of a thousand by 50 hour our channel will cut across here and it is 900 so we book the length and then how many are they there will be two for the first manual sorry three for the first manual two for the first second manual and three for the third manual and then you just book the length of that channel which is 900 millimeters then we say 100 millimeters diameter half round salt guest pcc channels <clears throat> let's go to the cover slab so for us to find to find the the length and the width of that suspended cover slab as you can see the slab runs from the outside of the wall up to the other outside of the wall so we need the external dimensions of the of the wall so what we need is the internal dimension plus the wall that will give us the extent of the of the cover slab so let's find those lengths and the width so that we can book for the slab so for the first one it's a thousand by 850 the wall is 150 so on both sides we have 300 so the length is 1300 and the width is 1150 the second one is 1150 by 850 by 2150 that is the thickness of the wall that is 300 by 300 sorry that gives us 1450 and 1150 the third one the diameter is 1200 the thickness of the wall is 200 that gives us 400 which gives us 1600 so we book the slab in square meters so it's the length and the width for the first manual 1.30 by 1.15 the second one is 1.45 by 1.15 so these two they share the same thickness slab thickness so we book them together we say vrc suspended cover slab one is to two is to four in 20 millimeters aggregate in the 50 millimeters thick slab upper sand we have a brc mesh with a reference number of a98 then we book for the second one we have a diameter of 1.60 by 1.60 remember there are three say pi so that is the area we say ditto but 200 millimeters thick slab so once we've booked for the slab remember we've booked for the entire slab because 1100 is from here up to here but we have the cover and the frame so we must deduct this cover and frame from the slab that we are going to to cast because this is an opening where we we are going to place our cover and frame so we must deduct that one so we go back and do the deduction of the covers and the frame sorry let's look at the covers for the covers for the first manual we have light duty cover size of 600 by 450 millimeters same as size same as manual 2 and then manual 3 we have 600 by 600 so take note of that let's subtract subtract the covers so we are going to just deduct them for manual one it's 0 0.6 by 0 0.45 but because it's manual one and two so we just add them so we are going to subtract manual one it, there are three and manual two there there are two and then manual three it has 600 by 600 that is 0 0.6 by 0 0.6 and then we say data by the last two items we go to the cover and frame so now this is this was the size of the cover and frame so we are just going to book the numbers and then we give a description of the sizes of the cover and and the frame for manual one and two they share the same size so we are going to say one how many are they there are three and they are and two for manual two so you say 400 600 by 450 millimeters light duty cover frame and then for manual three it's one 
which is three, and it has a size of 600 by 600 medium duty cover frame. Let's go to form work. We are going to start with the form work to the soffits of the suspended slab, and then we go to the form work of the we go to the form work of the of the edges. So we have our slab here. We have our slab here. So form work of the soffits is going to because we have the one that is going to run across the edges for the soffits we are going to take the internal the internal dimensions only so that we'll have this for the soffit and then we'll have the one for the edges so for the internal dimensions we are going to use the internal sizes of the of the manuals So for the first one, we have 1.000.85, there are three. The second one is 1.150.85, there are two. The third one is 1.20, 1.20, pi over four, and there are three. We say swan wood form work to the surface of the suspended slab. Now we go to the edges. Now to the edges, it's the length. Remember, from work to the edges, we are going to book it in linear meters. So we need the the total length. <clears throat> if it is the length of a thousand, then for us to get a thousand, it's the internal. So we add the the thickness of the wall on both sides. So that gives us a thousand plus one fifty by two. That is thirteen hundred. And then we also add that three hundred to the to the weed it same as to the second and the and the third one for us to find the form work to the to the edges so you can add that so for the first one it's a thousand plus 300 that gives us 1.30 so there are three but the sides are two the length we have two sides of the length for the weed it it's 800 plus 300 that gives us 1.15. Also, there are there are two sides, but we have three manuals. And then we go to manual two. That gives us 11 1150 plus 300 gives us 1450. That is 1.45. There are two sides of the length, and we also have two two manuals on that manual two. The width is 850 plus 300. It gives us 1.15, they are also two, and then the sides are also two. We go to the diameter, it's 1200 plus the thickness of the wall, that gives us 1600. Then we multiply by pi, they are also three. So that is the, that is the, that is the formwork to the edges. Again, we come and take care of the, of the covers. These, this one and this one they are for the covers. So let's see. For the first cover, we add 650 by 450. So it's 600 plus 600 plus 450 plus 450. That gives us 2100. So 2100 is the entire formwork that we need for that cover. So it, because we are booking it in linear length, so we need the length of that formwork. So it's 2100, 2.10. It's the same for manual two and manual three. And in each manual, we only need one cover and frame. So we are going to multiply by the number of manuals. That is three and then by, by two. <clears throat> Let's go to manual three. Manual three, it's 600 by 600. So the total length of that formwork is 600 plus 600 plus 600 plus 600. That gives us 2400 by three because they are three. And then we say ditto to the edges of the of the slab. <clears throat> Let's go to the wall finishes. For the wall finishes, we have the plaster. So we have the plaster, we have the wall, 
we have the invert of 1100 plus 50 you will, that is 1150 and then we subtract the 1150 and then for us to get the wall it's 1150 minus 150 that gives us a thousand so we have the slab there that is the height the height of the wall is the same height for the for the finishes what we need to get is the is the length what we need to get is the is the mini guard i want to show you what we need to use because we are doing our wall the finishes now we are not taking the 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 sizes up to the internal internal whatever we need the we need the internal dimensions so we are going to take the length and the width it we just add them and then we multiply by two for us to get the length the total length of that plaster because if the length is a thousand and the width it is 850 we multiply by two we are not going to add the 40 for us to get the thickness so we just need the total the total dimension of that manual that is length plus with it so for the first one it's going to be eight eight hundred plus a thousand plus eight fifty and then we multiply by the two sides the same as the second one eleven fifty plus eight fifty and then we multiply by the two sides and then and also the third one it's now going to be just twelve hundred that is diameter so for the first one we get that 700 we book for that finishes that 700 that is 1100 1000 plus 850 by 2 and then the height is the same as the height of the wall that is 1.8 sorry 1.00 the second one it's 1150 sorry 14 the second one is 1150 by 8 plus 850 that gives us 2000 then we multiply by 2 it gives us 4000 that is 4.00 and the height was 1.5 we multiply by 2 and then we say 12 millimeters thick one is to 4 cs sand cement plaster and then we say for the circular one the diameter means the same 1.2 1.2 then that is pi d squared remember there are three remember to indicate the number of the the total number of the manuals in each manual we say ditto but 150 millimeters thick plaster let's go to soil adjustment so we had done a projection of 125 millimeters so we need to know how much soil we are going to adjust after we've done our manuals so we are going to take the length and the width it up to the wall because <coughs> this is what we need we need to do an adjustment here where we have the 125 the projection from here up to here we need to do an adjustment here so we are going to take the measurements from here <coughs> up to here so that they can act as our internal dimension therefore we can be able to find the the mean gut like in the first case it's going to be a thousand plus 300 that gives us 1150 plus the projection which is 125 let's use the external one so we are going to take the total dimension total length from projection end of projection up to end of projection that is internal plus wall plus projection for the first one it's a thousand plus 300 plus 250 that gives us 1550 and then for the second for the width it's 850 plus 300 plus the projection which is 125 by 2 that is 250 so that we can find the mean gut and know the total the perimeter the total length of the soil adjustment that we are going to to do so the first one is 1550 by 1400 we add and then multiply by two and then because it's 
it's the thickness sorry because it's the external dimension now we less 4 40 and our thickness is 125 so that gives us 5400 the depth of excavation the depth of the adjustment is going to be from the total from the invert plus 50 so like in the first case the invert was 15 1150 plus 50 and then we less the vegetable soil because we are not sorry we less the slab because we are not going to do our adjustment up to the slab we are going to do the adjustment up to the wall so we less the the thickness of the slab so it will be 50 plus the invert and then we less the thickness of the of the slab for us to find the the depth so it will be 1150 plus 50 minus 150 that gives us a thousand for manual two let's find the main gut the external dimension that is projection add to projection 1700 by 1400 we add them and multiply by two that gives us 6200 and then we less the 40 that gives us 5700 the depth is the invert plus 50 minus the cover that gives us 1550 Manual 3, the diameter is 1600. Now that is 1200 plus the thickness. And then we less. Yeah. And then we less. We less the 150. That is a half. A half the thickness by 2. So that is the thickness of the of the projection. So it's half 150 by 2. That gives us 150 because half by 2 is 750. Sorry, 75. Then by 2, that gives us 150. So we less and get 14, 1450. And then the depth is going to be the invert plus 50 minus the suspended slab, which is 200 millimeters thick. That gives us 19, 1950. So we book them. It's the gut for the first one, 5.40. The thickness, it's 1.125, that is 0 0.13. And then the, sec the, the depth is 1.0. And then the second one is 5.70 by the thickness. And then the depth is 1.55. And that, the third one is 1.54. The thickness is... 150 that is 0 0.15 and then the depth is 1.95 that is multiplied by pi remember to indicate the number the numbers this one are three this one are two and this one is also three and then you say add back fill so up to that point we could we could have done the taking off of all those three manuals very well thank you very much guys for your time hope to see you next time